I'm gonna Dutch angle this. I'm gonna Dutch oven this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> Dave, I'm gonna Dutch. <laughs> I'm gonna Dutch. <laughs> uh, welcome! This is Cooking with uh, Us, and today it's gonna be Cooking with Me, Daryl. We're gonna be cooking up some nice tasty fish today. Something good, something simple. Something that we can all enjoy. Which is? Which is? Salmon! Roasted salmon! In the oven. Gonna have a little bit of herbs, a little bit of spices. Uh, pretty much, yeah. And then some salt and pepper. So we're gonna have <laughs> six salmon skin on. Six what? salmon steaks. The I skin hate the skin on. We'll, we'll, delicious. we'll work with that. In fact, because the skin will come off a little bit later. Why not eat it? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking gross, dude. We're gonna put uh, some minced garlic in here. Yeah. We're gonna uh, chop up a little bit of dill. Dill and uh, fish are like the best pairing. It's like apples and cheese. It's like. Um, it's apples and cheese a, a big pairing? It's yeah. like. It's like um, Is it actually? Yeah. It's you ever like, have a charcuterie board? Uh, this recipe calls for oil, and so we're going to be using butter, a quarter of a cup. But butter isn't an oil. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. What? It's, it's not it's an oil. Fat. It's a It's a dairy, it's a dairy fat. fat. Oh. It acts like oil, but you can use it as it's oil. not oil. It's like lard, yeah. but made of milk. It's like lard? But made of milk, yeah, that's what he said. I didn't know that. <laughs> Let's get a, uh, a knife for chopping, and then also let's get a, um, a... A knife for mincing. Yeah, which could be the same knife. All right. We'll take all this off. Except for the garlic, of course. Except for the garlic. Unless we're chopping the butter. And we're not chopping the butter. The of butter. course, you can't chop oil. So we're taking these cloves, right? We're Watch taking this. all of them. Boom. Then you just take the fucking skin off, dude. Yeah. Easy peasy. You see that? That's... And that is the heart of cooking right there. You're doing great, sweetie. Uh, so you keep on doing that. All right, we're gonna have another uh, knife here and we gotta cut these fillets off of their individual packaging. Now, I got frozen fillets. I definitely had an option to get a fresh fillet, fish fillet, and I didn't do that. Why didn't you, Daryl? Um, because I like the individual portions. I don't know if we're gonna use all of them. Uh, so that's why I did that. But the frozen aspect might be a problem, we'll see. The frozen ass bag? The frozen ass bag. I've had one of those in my time. I never said, I never, I never said ass bag. I never said ass bag. You ever notice that Daryl says said. exclusively the words ass bag to me? Yeah. I think he's insulting me. My recipe, uh... Daryl, do your best Richard Nixon impression while you say this next part. My recipe! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. How do you feel about the proceedings, Luke? It's going very well. Yeah, I'm very happy doing? with my... No, I've just been watching. Yeah. Um, I'm very happy with this group. I think that we got a good group. Uh, we work together well. Um, well. <laughs> work together well. <laughs> we work together great well. We work together well. A, tr a traditional steak is cut um, vertically, I guess. Whereas... Uh, other parts are uncut. Other parts are... A whole segment. Or just like cut the horizontally. <laughs> when they're not cut, they're living. Well, I'm washing my hands because that's what you do when you cook. What? Um, you know what, Luke? I'll have you. Um, oh, God. I'll have you chop up the herbs while we're doing this. Check the form. Check the form. Yeah. What do you think? Mm. See that? Small yeah. little movements, very Small. controlled. Yeah, and it all only took two times where I cut my own nail open oh. to get it. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, now you want to you want to go with like the base of the knife. There we go. Mm. Yeah. The thick part. The thick part. As Daryl always says, go with the thick part, baby. Yeah. Suck me off. Fresh dill is usually a little bit. It looks so sad. <laughs> It looks like seaweed. <laughs> I just pulled it out of the lake. <laughs> can you can you adopt your best like seaman pose? Like seaman. Yeah, 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 there we go. That's what I'm talking about. I don't have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you like me, lobster. <laughs> Whatever the fuck the quote is. 
Oh my god. That's too weed. I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now. Mm, goes well with salmon. Why are you still following me? You put it down. Mm, nice meat. Go back to your dill weed. Mm, goes well with skinny boys. No! <laughs> uh, so now we're gonna preheat the oven. Working on the parcel? On the, on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Bake is when it's uh, coming from below, and then broil is when it's coming from the top, right? So actually, we want broil, I think. 550. That's a little hot. <laughs> That's hot. I think broil is like. Drew likes saying that when he sees a man. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Three, 350. Yeah. Wait, we'll keep it with that then. Oh, I just. I, as soon as I turned that on, I felt like air. I felt like air coming through. He sees, he sees like you a dick on the street and he's like, man, I bet I can suck the cum out of that dick. What is going on over Take here? Take that out! We're talking about Take Drew! Take that out! We're talking about Drew! This is Daryl's day. Alright, Daryl, how's your day going? No, no C word stuff. Cancer. This is gonna be the family friendly version, okay? We're gonna do this right, we're gonna do this quick, and we're gonna do this uh, extremely PG. Yeah, real quick. It's going How much so fast. do you want mitts, chat? Okay, so I got it right here. That's a C word! That's true. Mmm, it smells like garlic. Yeah. What do you think, Drew? Mmm. <laughs> God. I think we've discovered who amongst us is the vampire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit's minced, but I was ass at cutting it. Inspecting the cookware? Oh, Looking put on the Inspector any... Gadget theme. Looks like a... needs to clean it one more time. Daryl is cleaning. Always on duty. <laughs> Sing a song about parsley. Parsley is my favorite thing. Parsley is a wonderful thing. Parsley is cutting up my fingers, but it's okay because parsley is good. Daryl, is this really necessary? It's necessary for me. True. It, yeah, okay? it's not. True. Because it's, it's Daryl. It needs it's not necessary. things need to be clean, and I'm not. not a sociopath. Just I'm not. To be clean. I'm not going. I'm not going to put fresh ingredients on um, on a dish, and, and, and not blaming oh, yeah. anybody. Not blaming. Not saying anybody's dirty in so, this house. Look at all these fresh ingredients right yeah, here. Yeah. Look at look at look at the freshness of this salmon. Mmm. <laughs> Don't spank my salmon! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Freshness. <laughs> <laughs> These are stuck together, dude! <laughs> so, we uh, already have too many salmon for this particular dish. Let's. Time to clean another one! Let's stack them on top of each other. Snap them in half. Do you what we what, have to. You know what? Let's do two rounds of this. Let's do two rounds. Why are we cooking six of them? Uh, because because the recipe calls for a certain uh, like um, weight of fish, and these fish are a little bit uh, they're cut a little bit finer, so we need more to keep the all the ingredient amounts the equal the same. All right. Uh, There's a bigger dish. The big one, the cooking, the cooking sheet. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's right. Christ in a hand basket. With some red bars on the volume for that one. That's big enough. Just that one. Is Why did big you need the you other one? You washed this for nothing. I did wash it for nothing. Okay. Remember well, I didn't I... wash it for nothing because now it's clean for the next person who oh, will want it. Okay? My fucking god. <laughs> okay, it's good. And I will just, you know, give this a quick. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> What's your definition of quick, Carol? Huh? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take random things and put them on the uh, salmon if that's okay. Mmm, white pepper. That'll go. Well, actually, yeah, it does call for salt and pepper. Don't put it on the skin side. Put it on the... Oh, actually, I should season with salt and pepper? You can. You can. It's okay. Should I do it or not, chef? Yeah, do it. But light, lightly season it. Don't, not, so nothing too heavy. Let's, let's do another segment called, what is the difference between black and white pepper? Luke? Um, white pepper is a different species of plant. It's got a different flavor. It's also stronger. Ah, so that's why you would want black pepper. White pepper is good for, like, Mexican food. Oh, uh, it's like they're returning home. Because it's sea salt. Yeah. 
Oh, I did get this one. Focus. Man, can you imagine if, like, you got killed and eaten by an alien, you got, like, marinated in, like, I don't know, something that you'd find at home? Like dandelions? Yeah, something like that. You want, you want a little uh, helpful hint? Yeah. You always salt first before you pepper. Okay. Why, Paul? I don't know. I just do. <laughs> going back and forth. Now I'm gonna, I'll go in the same direction. There's no need to be quaint. There's no need to be quaint. Look, there's no, no need, need to, to be, be quaint. quaint. Daryl, there's no, no need, need to, to be, be quaint. quaint. So uh, while Paul seasons this, Peppers. Uh, I'm going to add uh, what is not oil, butter. And uh, it's... Uh, I can't believe it's not oil. <laughs> quarter of a cup. I'm going to do some measuring here. That's a bunch of pods. That's a bunch of... not what I'm looking for. Hey, I'm going to reach around. <laughs> I'm used to those. Are you? Not from you. Good for you. Daryl has never jacked me off. Really? I already we've done after school our case. And I have asked every day for the past seven months for a single reach around, and he has not done anything to my penis. <laughs> okay, so we will probably have to use all this butter. Is that cool? Yeah, I got more butter. You got more? Yeah, I do. Well, then we need to use more. Well, should we leave this soft butter for breakfast, and then use the hard butter now? No. We're using the frozen salmon anyway. <laughs> That's, it, at this point, it's frozen mostly salmon, defrosted. In an ideal world, I would have brought a dish that would have been a little bit deeper. Uh, but we can make this work. It just, it will spread, like the butter will spread out a little bit more. And when it comes to actually mixing the, uh, okay, yeah, cool, man. Did you use the garlic knife for that? Oh my god, Oh, man, yes. oh, oh you, someone you have fucked. worked in a kitchen before. Yeah. You just, you fuck. Oh my god. The whole thing is ruined. What do you want me to do with the extra butter? Um, can, eat it. Yeah. Eat it. Fuck that. Eat it. Get that shit eat. away from me. You, right why? You made the mistake. So yeah. Gross. Penance. Ugh. All right. Well, oh, come on, you coward. I don't like raw butter. It's not raw, good it's news. So it's salty. Churned. Right. Is it salted butter? No. Uh, no. It literally says salted on it. Oh, okay. So. Well, then maybe. Oh, yeah, this is salted. Um, sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. You're gonna have to suck on my finger if you want this. <laughs> there we go. I didn't want that. It was sucking I've been washing my hands this entire cooking with. Don't worry. Here comes the airplane. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, a second airplane has hit mm, the mouth. No, if you're just gonna spit it out, I'll. I'll be the courageous one today. I can't believe you used the garlic knife for that. Stop butter. saying it like it's the weirdest thing ever. Uh, no, you want. You're, you're very out of focus there. I'm sorry. Damn it, that's yeah. basic kitchen safety. Whatever, dude. Yeah, fucking gross. I feel like Daryl and I have very different views on cleanliness when it comes to the kitchen. Yeah, you're as right. opposed to Daryl and myself, who always get along <laughs> when it comes to kitchen cleanliness. Do you want me to use this knife on something? <laughs> yeah, so on your you need for butter. On yourself. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, why is I don't know. Yeah, raise the star of the just show. Like, get in front of the like screen. Scoop, scooping out of your ass. I don't know, man. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're digging yourself a bigger hole in here, man. The butter's actually in there right now. Oh my doing god. A little, doing a little melty. Uh, um, oh, that's good. That's good. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, cooking with Daryl. Butter. <laughs> Take it out and you're done, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the salmon. Dill butter. Dill butter. <laughs> Yeah. So you wanted idea. to make sure the bubble was the butter was boiling, but the frozen salmon, you were like, you know what? Good enough, dude. No, the butter needs to be liquefied uh, because apparently it's not in oil. Can I parsley you a question? Go ahead. Perhaps I should deal you later. Yeah, if you want to. Deal you later. <laughs> well, come on, don't be such a. Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna mix this in with the butter a little bit. You silly goose. And uh, let it marinate a little bit. Let it, just let it uh, cook. In fact, now is a good time to pop it back in. 
ever so slightly. Silly goose. What does slightly pop it back in? Slight, uh, like, like, period, like, uh, briefly, briefly. I mean, briefly. Silly goose. So, uh, these ingredients can go back. The garlic and the lemon we will be using very soon. And the silly goose. And the asparagus uh, will be uh, a nice little addition afterwards. I cut potato chips out of my diet. You know what I'm eating instead? Frozen peas, straight from the bag. Really? That's good. Yeah. No, unironically, frozen peas, if you're like craving like chip like things, like Luke's not like right Like the, the little yeah. round peas, right? Like not. Very good, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> There's like snap peas and stuff. There's different kinds of peas. I mean, frozen peas usually means separate peas. I was clarifying. Look, I've been getting a bunch of stuff wrong today. I need extra hand Nothing's holding. Nothing's new. Nothing's new under the fucking sun, Drew. Well, now I'm asking for help. All right, cool. That is new. Yes, I mean frozen peas. What Oven mitt. Frozen peas. Now the butter's kind of smelling a little bit. Uh, you smell just cleaned like that, and now you're getting it dirty. The uh. The cooking of the butter process has reduced the amount of butter in the pan, so we're gonna have to add a little bit more. Just add the whole fucking thing. I don't want. I'm throwing this out. I'm what? Throwing, I'm out? throwing that out. What is wrong this with you? Bitch, this bitch is cutting with a garlic knife. I am not keeping that on my right, countertop. I'm that. running this dish through the dishwasher. Can I interject something? That's salted butter. We should be aware of that. This oh. is gonna be a very salty dish. Oh, you added salt to the thing, too. Yeah. Oh, well! <laughs> uh, I didn't like the burek last time, though. I like, I remember, I, I took, like, half of it home with me. Mainly because Leslie was supposed to take a quarter of it home, and then she forgot it. Nice. We fucking started without Leslie, she's still at the airport. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, well. She can starve. <laughs> so now I'm putting the fish on the Ooh. pan. Uh, we do have a random a uh, block of butter there. Random. Um, random. And random. so the idea of this That's is... That's so quirky. It's so random. <laughs> so random. We're going to cook this skin side <laughs> down <laughs> for only a couple of minutes. Uh, so the idea is that we cook it, and now it's preheated. The idea is that we cook it? Uh, that we cook it uh, with skin face down for a couple minutes so that the skin separates from the fish. And then we take, we flip it, and then we peel the skin off, because Paul hates the skin. Uh, Paul hates skin, in general. Except uh, foreskin. I really like that. Yeah, four, four skins are fine, but three is not, not okay. When it comes to for or against, I'm foreskin. There you go. You heard it from the mouth yeah. itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Harold, you by chance live in a place where multiple people are cooking different meals at the same time? So There's but, so much yeah. butter on the face. So. <laughs> ah! We have a team success. Good lord. That's a good sign. That means you're doing it right. <laughs> you silly goose. I touched you with that one. Now we have to wash this. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Like you should wash knives. Like before, before, you, like, before you cut butter, yeah. the common butter, in a house that you don't live in. You Jesus don't Christ. live here? And yet you cut the butter with the fucking garlic knife? Yeah, silly goose. Oh, I ran out of paper towel. Let me use used toilet paper. Jesus Christ, what are you doing? This is a lot of parsley. I'm realizing the parsley is To be is fair, more... Drew is the toilet paper king, as we've established many times. That's true. Parsley is, in fact, more than the dill. Quite a lot more. You gave me those proportions. I did. <laughs> and now I'm thinking we might want some more dill. Tell you what, or we could just eat the parsley. Give me some. Oh, don't care. Only one, so... Not a, not a time to mention Some that, like, hair. <laughs> that I don't I don't much care for parsley. <laughs> Fresh ingredients are sacred. You don't want to defile them. We put with our germs in the oven, frozen. <laughs> they what were, are you talking about? They started frozen, okay? Because I got them from the grocery store frozen. But you leave it out, and because they're so thin, then the defrosting. Shut up! Okay, <laughs> shut up! Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I 
sizzling. Man, it's great. Why is this? Why is the pan like this? Oh. Yeah, the pan is now warped. <laughs> it just depends. It's okay. Okay. We're destroying Rick's kitchen. <laughs> when when Rick's attack, the butter's gone. The pan warped. The fire alarm went off. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing great, guys. We're doing great. He cut um, the butter with the garlic. <laughs> you silly goose. <laughs> okay, flip them. Can you isolate that sound, please? We'll get it clean. <laughs> Shut up. It's gonna taste great, guys. <laughs> it's because there's a lot of butter in the pan. It's... Oh. oh. <laughs> I think you splashed I'm me. Sorry. Was that hot, Drew? No. Was that hot? When you fell from heaven? <laughs> Was that hot? <laughs> Those were excellent sounds. Oh. Okay. Daryl, um, let me level with you. This better start to look more appetizing. Okay. The we're dill, thinking. by the way, is burnt. The dill that was in the pan is burnt. Yeah. Let's let's um let's add a little bit more dill. Okay. Can we can we mince a little bit more? So Looks then... like pubes. <laughs> this is the filleting knife. It's long. It's uh you know got the blade. That's side. not it. That's not it? It's not that long. Oh, <laughs> stubby. That's a paring knife. That's even shorter. That's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's long and skinny. Just this like is, me. I mean, this is has more serrated edges than I would like for, for a skinny. Oh, Maybe a good look at He's cutting the dill over here. Okay. And so now I'm gonna spend... This is some good technique. Hold on. Uh, can I borrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Diggity, diggity, yeah. Oh, done. Fucking whatever, like it ain't no thing. This skin is not coming off like I was hoping it would. <laughs> Do you think it's still frozen, maybe? <laughs> okay, so it is a little bit frozen still, Daryl. but there's no way that I'm going to get to that. <laughs> Daryl chose to get frozen salmon when he could have got fresh salmon. Fresh salmon is something that the grocery store has created infrastructure to provide for people. We are nowhere near the ocean. We are in the middle of a problem. massive landmass. And there's a massive amount of supply chain engineering in order to get fresh salmon. And it would have been more convenient to cook, but Daryl liked the plastic. Every time we try to do they're they're so individualized. Okay, they're individualized wait, packages. Wait, 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 let me say this. Every time we do cooking with Daryl, one of the ingredients is frozen when it shouldn't have been and it ruins the whole thing. <laughs> and it always culminates with Daryl halfway through the recipe going, it's not supposed to be like this. <laughs> See, this is looking great. Okay. This is You're scraping fun. the skin off! <laughs> what the fuck? It's great. Some of these fillets will have a little bit of skin on them. <laughs> we, we, this needs to be the last episode. We are unqualified to run a cooking show. All of us, across the board, don't follow our recipes. They're all shit. Steak went pretty well, I will say. Shut up. <laughs> Poor person soup works. Really, all of them except for two of them uh, succeeded wildly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they had a similar uh, like cooking style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, they use proper ingredients that weren't frozen arbitrarily. <laughs> this was supposed to be my redemption meal. <laughs> Okay, this was supposed to be the meal that was going to go so much better and so much easier than the Barak. And you know what? It's going pretty well. Okay, it's going pretty well. You're scraping the skin off. I'm scrape. I, you know what the problem was is that it should have been skin up. And I should have been baking it skin up. That would separate the skin from the fish uh, better. Then why are we doing it like this, dude? Uh, because I I got confused. Okay. Well, why are we putting it back in the oven and cooking it? Because now the the oil has has marinated into the fish, so the the skin is now even closer to the fish. It's it's not going to And baking work. wouldn't resolve that. Uh, no, it would cook the fish uh, more. 
and by the time we were we got back on track with the with the timelines for these things, the fish will be overcooked. You know what, you're right. Whatever you're doing right now is vastly superior to whatever stupid shit I was suggesting. <laughs> like fresh salmon. As I said that, he, he put the knife like accidentally into the fillet. <laughs> You'll be hearing about this on Credit Zero, episode 50. Hey, remember when you fucked up that fish? <laughs> remember when you tried to do a cooking with? <laughs> Can don't, I point out? Don't cook again, Daryl. It's like painting. Except instead of creating something beautiful. <laughs> it's like painting, except there's a better way to do it. Except, <laughs> except there's a sea of butter and burn tail. <laughs> the butter was not my fault, okay? The butter, we were just had to use it, okay? And so that's why it got, we got onto the dish, okay? <laughs> sea of butter and burn tail! I'm scraping this guy! He's got a the fish! <laughs> We haven't even touched the asparagus yet. What are you planning on doing with that? Cooking it. He's gonna oh. freeze it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm nibbling on this bill. What else is there to eat? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, this is the funniest fucking thing. I have a lot of regrets right now. <laughs> it looks like the after effects of a crime scene. Tell me you're not done with this piece. I am done with this piece. <laughs> I this piece right this. here, the <laughs> scales are all the skin is off that. Okay, so I got a confession to make. What's that? Uh, this recipe, I just kind of googled it before coming <laughs> to here today, <laughs> so it's not in fact like a like a passed down recipe. Redemption. <laughs> something good about finally something to eat. <laughs> what? The Bachelor Chef. Prepares for mating season by cooking the grossest looking shit imaginable. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> I'm uh, yes. probably gonna leave the last two. And I'm gonna. You're gonna see. leave the last two? Like as a control variable? <laughs> yeah, we'll see if like the skin really matters. If they. <laughs> <laughs> Are you eating those ones? Or? <laughs> You are going to be are eating the grossest eat ones. Can I say something just off the record? Never become a rabbi, dude. What? Oh, ew. Okay, I gotcha. Oh. Yeah, babies bathed in butter and burnt dill. Daryl scraping, scraping it off bit by bit. Just going, whoops, sorry. Whoops, sorry. I froze it before it. You know what? Let's leave two kids with the skin on. <laughs> Under some Catholic theologians, hell Ladies just and gentlemen, he gave up on the skin and he's just like putting green not. shit haphazardly he everywhere. Place, Take note of how the majority of it is not on salmon. It is active torture because of. Yo. What? So Daryl just put fucking parsley. Oh, now he's mixing it up. He's trying to hide the evidence. I just put parsley everywhere. The majority of it was just on the pan, not on anything. <laughs> I had no idea what these salmon uh, fillets would look like. Uh, I have no idea what how to cook salmon. <laughs> we know, dude. <laughs> I just learned salmon was a fish today. I cooked salmon before. Okay, I just haven't used this particular recipe. All right, that's all. That's it. Oven cooking using butter. <laughs> what's what's the variable here that's different? The skin stuff is the variable, and there are different steaks. Usually, the steaks are like the the sideway, like the fish side. Why am I explaining this? I guess the steaks have never been higher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. This is a lot of fresh vegetables, which I like. They're, which herbs. I They're herbs. They're herbs. They're not vegetables. I'm sorry, a herb is not a vegetable? Yeah, that's right. Just because it's green. Yeah. It's not an animal. But grass it's a plant. isn't an animal. Yeah, it's also not a vegetable. Grass is a vegetable? No, it's not. You can't eat it. Apples aren't a vegetable. vegetable. Okay. Wait, what has Daryl done wrong this entire episode? Has he done Dude. anything wrong? <laughs> Dude, what is that? That is not interesting. It's all in the center. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna mix it up later. I just want to I want to I want to bake it first. first. I want to go back. Why is there like the nothing oven. on that one? Why is there everything here? <laughs> Paul. Yeah. So for now, we'll put this back in. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom it on Daryl's face. <laughs> <laughs> this is going great.
Alright. Uh, so, we're gonna put a timer again. Uh, timer. Uh, for three minutes. season on top of it. Uh, so let's cut these le this lemon into slices. Um, we probably only need half of the lemon. So let's say, you know, four or five slices, whatever. Enough for one on top of each slice of fish. <laughs> when the fish is done, we'll actually put the asparagus onto the same pan that the fish was cooked on. Because it's going to have the herbs, it's going to have the oil. It's going to have the burn dill, the sea of butter, yeah, all yeah. that stuff, dude. And so we're, re we're not wasting anything. We're reusing um, all of the ingredients uh, to make our food even better. Tell them to bring out the whole ocean. <laughs> you can cut Tell them to bring out the whole ocean. You can cut them, you can cut them thick too. You can you actually cut the whole lemon. <laughs> okay, I sir. Didn't sorry, that. sorry, okay. You've said yes, consistently yes. this entire fucking time we've, we, we used too much of this, we've used too much of that. And now, just to clarify, for this one recipe for salmon, you're asking for a whole lemon. Yes. And I don't... I have never encountered... I have cooked salmon, like, my entire adult life. What? Thank you, sir. I have never used a whole lemon. Why does it do that? Why the fuck does it do that? <laughs> going off the rails. Close it, dude. We're gonna get the fire alarm. Turn it off, dude. You turned the I oven did. off. I did. I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> Can we still need the oven? No one help them. Yes. <laughs> I'm going fucking loco right now. I'm going fucking loco. Stop this. Stop this goddamn- <sighs> It's gonna be the most flavorful skin out there. The actual salmon's gonna be super bland, and then it's just gonna be the skin on top covered in garlic. Nothing's gonna be bland. It's gonna taste great. Yeah, yeah, what's up? Look at this ash right here. Uh, it's all now. dill. Mmm, dill well used. And we're gonna put the asparagus in this, yeah? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> We got a lot of shots of putting things in people's mouths. How's that? Are we, are we sure that this it's is like what we want? <laughs> it tastes like charcoal. We know. All right. It doesn't taste like dill anymore. Put it with the asparagus, dude. <laughs> That's actually really well arranged. Oh, can you get this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so this is what happens to butter uh, when you like uh, sort of like cook it too much. Yeah. Cook, it, cook it to its like smoke point, over its smoke point, is that it turns into burnt butter, which actually tastes even better. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't good save, dude. It wasn't part of the recipe, but you guys, you'll love it. I'm sure you will. <laughs> I love how much you're committing to this. I have to. You guys have already given up, okay? You gave up as soon as the skin thing happened, and you're like, it's gonna be shit. It's gonna be great. It's as soon as the great. skin thing happened, we gave up. That's called recognizing when you lost. <laughs> okay. Now the salmon, I can tell, is ready. Because it's very, um, like, it's no longer reddish, it's like kind of pinkish. Yeah, it's like brownish on the outside. Oh, sorry, that's the dill, parsley, and butter. The butter. It's mostly the butter. Okay, burnt butter. Clearly you've never had burnt butter before. Um, For good reason. <laughs> it's like burning butter, like, makes it taste bad. It's like burning butter, is like, makes it like, 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 just... I'm pretty sure every other cooking video I've ever watched has been like, okay, now don't leave the butter in too long or it'll burn. No comment. <laughs> are we putting this back in or are we done? No, we're done. We're done. 
I'm just. Are I'm you just... We get to eat now? <laughs> no, we're done with the fish. Okay, we still have one more, the uh, the asparagus. Oh. So I need like a plate, maybe a serving plate for all of us to eat it. just put this stuff on. It's that's done. That's done. Doesn't that look appetizing, Paul? My nastiness. My nasty. My nasty fish, which, which will taste not nasty at all, taste delicious. Did That's good, right? We don't need to like spread them around or nothing. <laughs> I'm just using the leftover butter and the leftover Sweet herbs Jesus. to uh, make this, uh, to like just roast this a little bit. What are we going to do with the lemons? Yeah, so I, I messed up a little bit, uh, and the lemon's supposed to go on top of the fish is like kind of, you know, like to, to, uh, to sort of seep through and marinate the, the fish as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on top, or maybe leave it as like an option you can put the lemon on your fish after. Can we try it with the asparagus? You want to put lemon on the asparagus? Just a little bit, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, you should <laughs> cut up a whole lemon. <laughs> and then use <laughs> none of it. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, let's do this then. Yeah, that's good. Good. <laughs> put, it, put it in, baby, put it in! <laughs> Two lemon slices and some asparagus. There we go. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? You talking about me? Are you a DILF? Oh, Have no. you ever been called a DILF before? I'm not dad, so no. You're like early dad age. An early dad age? Yeah, so, so you could be a DILF. Um, umbrella term. I'm early dad age. <laughs> Editor me, you gotta put a gangster cap on him. No, <laughs> stop that! No, oh, no! I hope y'all like cold salmon, because we're not gonna be eating for the next ten minutes. It's gonna be... It's just sitting there! It's just sitting there! We'll put it back in, okay guys? We'll put it back it's, in for you a said that we we'll put it back in. You said that we should it. It's gonna be overcooked. Uh, no. Please put the asparagus in. I'm worried that there's not a lot of oil in the pan still. There's so. no oil in the pan, Daryl. Sorry, butter, right. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate that fucking beeping. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna fucking die. He's, 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 he's coming out. Daryl, you didn't set a timer. He's, he's leaving. He's, he's coming out. He's leaving. You haven't set a timer. What's, what are we putting it in for, dude? He's having a little break. We'll set the timer for you. Just tell us how long. Daryl, how long asparagus in for? Don't leave. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay, but to my in my defense, remember when we made barak and you were all like, "This looks gross, but it tasted good." We haven't set a timer for the asparagus yet. <laughs> I have no idea how long it's gonna take. I have no idea if it's even gonna cook properly. <laughs> Did you just pick 350 degrees out of the thin air? Yeah, it's like average time. Average. <laughs> uh, I hope you're all hungry because that's the only thing that's going to make this taste good. Oh, I have nothing else to eat in this house. <laughs> we're just going we're just gonna vibe out the asparagus. Dude. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna vibe it out. Just know, Daryl, that we love you, and we're no we know you're good at some things. This is like a January 6th tweet that Trump put out. We, we love, love you. You're, <laughs> you're very special. Go home. <laughs> some of them are dry. Some of them are on top of each other. <laughs> Let's just... <laughs> I did that because I didn't want the alarm to go off. Everybody gets one lemon slice. Because Daryl used the other three for the, uh, the asparagus. And not the salmon. And not the salmon, which was its in initial intention. So, I'm not explaining myself anymore. It is what it is, okay? You're gonna eat it, and it's probably gonna taste good. Because we're all freaking hungry at this point. Ooh, it smells nice. Doesn't it, guys? <laughs> sure does. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. actually, these are probably ready now. 
Look at that. They're they're like sizzling a little bit. They've marinated a bit. Do you want a fork? It's so dry. <laughs> oh yeah, those are nice. Um, maybe not fully cooked, but. I cook asparagus all the time. This is so sad. Okay, you cook it so you can tell <laughs> if they're if they're if they're ready or not. They're not ready. <laughs> they're not ready. Put can it we, back in. Can we maybe take a few of them that are ready and and eat? Or is that not something we're gonna do? What are we gonna do with the rest of the asparagus? <laughs> we'll eat it later. I just mean for the filming of it. All right. I want to get going. We have a podcast after this. Okay. <laughs> Daryl still cooking away. Yeah, I uh, I glistened the uh, sprig. Uh, oh, whatever. The sprig. That's not sprigs. Sprig. Call we called them stalks earlier. The stalks. Yeah. Oh, the that's... hungriest of us, you get to eat before the asparagus. The rest of us have to wait. That's punishment for cooking something this vile. Eh, it's not bad. It's salmon. It is. It is kind of cold, but. Oh no, it's, it's not bad. At the end of the day, we're not trying to be mean to Daryl. We are going to highlight the myriad ways in which this has been an unmitigated disaster. But, if it's tasty, we say it's tasty. It's better with lemon, for sure. It's tasty. That's somehow a deeper cut. <laughs> That's fine. Really rubbing lemon in the wound. I attempted to take the skin out, and you know what? It didn't really work for all of them. Two of them I left them, yes. America but. attempted the Vietnam War. This is a disaster. <laughs> it's similar to the Vietnam War. You had a recipe, you're really confident in it. You didn't follow it, and then you're like, actually I didn't know anything at all. <laughs> if I make this again, uh, which I won't, but <laughs> if I do. Go ahead, Jeff. The smell of burnt butter is just so nostalgic for me. It's alluring. Nostalgic? It's, yeah. When I, in my childhood, burnt butter was like the thing that you would put <coughs> on, um, you know, like pasta or like, you know, kind of uh, potatoes or like the, these kind of dishes. Like you would purposely burn the butter? Yeah. It, it's, uh, as I'm saying, it is a common technique in the cooking world. This is not how my household operated. Brown butter is definitely a thing. I'll back you up on that. Yeah. That's real. That's real. Garlic knife. Daryl. Cellulose to this. When you bought the salmon, did it say deboned? It did, yeah. Okay. Well, did you get a bone? Uh, found some bone. Add it to the list. Here you go. Well, you can hold the fork, I guess. Or not. Wow. Man, he'd be so good at sucking dick. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he'd be so good at devouring dick, dude. He needs more time. More time? Yeah. Let's eat. Let's eat with him. Yeah. Like, if we had done the potatoes, they might have caught fire, so I'm glad that we had <laughs> Well, the thing potatoes. is, if we had done the potatoes, we would be putting the potatoes on the same pan as the asparagus when the asparagus is done, and still be waiting to eat. Yeah, potatoes take the longest, so... Now I'm just trying to... Imagine sitting at a restaurant and just being like, where's my meal? Are they, are they working on it in there? And then this is what's happening behind the kitchen door. I wouldn't, I wouldn't talk like that if I were you, garlic knife. <laughs> there we go. What was that? <laughs> Daryl! <laughs> ah! Yeah. Alright, Drew, I'll, uh, I'll take over on filming duties as you eat. Oh, you don't want your face to be there? Uh, you don't want people to know if I, you like I your can. own cooking? I can, but I want you to eat. If it's bad, I will say it's bad. If it's good, I'll say it's good. What am I eating first, Daryl? Uh, have the fish. Alright, straight to the main course. First off. Lemon juice. Ooh, it's splashy over here. I'm sitting in the splash zone, as it were. All right, first taste test, first bite. Skin still on. Right. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, oh, is that medium rare? Is that how you eat your your salmon? My yeah. salmon steak. Eats chicken rare too. Put in the clip of Hell's Kitchen, Chris. Chris, executive chef. Why is it raw on the bottom? Well, it's medium rare. That's how I would eat my salmon. Yeah. You need to clean your glasses. It's raw. Oh boy. Oh, 
You know, on second go about with the asparagus, mm -hmm. crunchy. It's not, uh, it's not so the way I would normally cook it, but it is fully cooked and it does keep the crunch, so you get more of the asparagus flavor than you would the whatever oil or butter you put on it, which is kind of nice. It tastes yeah. more green. I like the dill. I like the dill pairing with it. I still think it's a good combination, fish and dill. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, move. I think um, what could be fixed for next time is letting the herbs uh, marinate in the oil a little bit more. That's what you choose. That's that's the one thing that could improve this dish. <laughs> no. It's the one thing that we could do differently. Everything else is the same thing next time. Yeah. I don't see any of you saying, oh, the butter's burnt. I'm very sorry that this did not turn out the way you wanted, Daryl. And I'm very sorry for the inevitable way I'm going to be editing this episode. Uh, overall, I think this is good. It may not be as good as the steak. It may not be as good as the burek was. Keep going. It may not be better than whatever Drew comes up with. You're really leaving just mine out. My two episodes. <laughs> Fuck you. This is way better than four person soup. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if it's pink too. Like it's supposed to be pink on the inside. Cut, cut to Chris from Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> you need to clean your glasses. It's raw. I don't agree. Let me tell you something. Yeah, I mean like spill like when I think of spill I think of oh it was it was like contained in something and got tipped over. You know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But your ass is already aiming the wrong way. You ever like cow tip a human being on the street and they fall over and they shit themselves? No. It's much like eating a salmon. <laughs> eating the salmon. That's so mean. <laughs> Luke, do you have any more thoughts on the fish? I really like the asparagus. I think the asparagus turned out really good. <laughs> okay. 